Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we're back with another episode of Stranger Things, episode 7. The last time on Stranger Things. Um, last episode was a bit like um, playing a, an RPG game. You know, the, that moment where you, you've finally beaten the boss and you do, you know that he has another form, right? And, and in your mind, you imagine what that form, what his next final form will be. But somehow when you encounter him the next time, it's going to be so much more horrifying than what you actually imagined. And that's what happened last episode. We had, I mean, Eleven went up against um, the, the Mind Flayer, at least a part of the Mind Flayer. That was a combination of um, two of the guys from the Washington Post where, where Nancy worked. And uh, they did look, uh, the, the, the monster looked a lot larger than two bodies, but hey, I'm not surprised. Um, and, and for the most part, she, she basically dominated. But again, it keeps coming back to what are the repercussions of her using her abilities, right? Um, so she basically dominated that one. And I, I, I sort of worry because the, the, her first encounter with Billy, you know, in the, in the sauna, in the sauna test, right? She, she, she won up to him then, you know, he pushed back, but she basically, he overpowered her, but she got last hidden. <coughs> And, and here again, um, rematch, you know, sort of, no, not with Billy, but she's still the mind flayer, and um, she won again. So this is two, two wins in, in, in her corner, right? I don't imagine the third time is going to go as smoothly as it has gone uh, um, the first two times. Um, so they, they finally took him down, and he, went, he slithered away and went and joined the, you know, the main part of its body, which is technically still a part of the original mind share, um, which is, and, and he has not grown because he's, he's not added all the other hosts that he's been, um, he's been controlling and um, it's just one massive blob, which I don't know, I don't see how, I don't see how she, she'll be able to take that on her own. I can only hope that the, 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 the guys that Hopper is, um, Hopper is trying to reach, you know, will actually show up and they'll provide some assistance. Um, I've already said what I want to happen, which is either her sister or some other kid, or even Will, develop some abilities or something. Someone else comes in to, you know, give them some extra ammunition with some abilities of some sort. And and her sister's ability would work wonderfully here, um, but I don't know if we're gonna get that. We already we only have two episodes to go. I think I don't think they just drop in um, they drop in another character like that in that at the last minute, but. Um, I mean, I want to say this is the penultimate episode, but um, in true Stranger Things fashion, I believe season one and season two, um, normally when, you, when you're watching a series, the last episode is usually um, a bit slower paced and um, basically you're, you're, with, you're witnessing what the aftermath of the events are and you, you it's sort of a send off for all your characters, right, to see where they're now headed. But for Stranger Things season one and season two, it, it was pretty much still um, fast paced and action and, and, and once things start ramping up, it just it just goes all the way there until the very last episode. So, um, so I don't think they're going to be defeating the mind flayer this episode. And judging by what many of you have said in that the last episode is fantastic, I'm guessing that we're going to be seeing a continuation. The battle will continue into episode eight. Um, but very excited to see what the you know what, what happens from here. I've I've literally no clue how they can possibly beat the mind flayer as he is now. I've already, I, I said last episode that I believe it's going to be Billy um, because they've, they've gone to great lengths to give us a background for Billy and to, I don't believe he was, I don't believe he joined the Mind Flayers, he melted and joined the Mind Flayers body. And if they didn't do that, that means they have some other purpose in mind for him, the writers at least. So I believe it's going to come down to Billy. Um, he's the very, he was the very first host. So I think there is some connection there, some way there for him to, to aid them in beating the mind flare. He may come at um, at a sacrifice and he may have to sacrifice himself, which would be um, would be a waste uh, because you know the actor has done such a fantastic job and I've truly enjoyed him this season. I hated him last season, but I've enjoyed him um, I I've enjoyed him very much this season and but it does it, it does bring back my point from earlier on this season when I mentioned that there needs to be some weight to the um, to the threat that, um, that, that's happening in the town and that means someone has to die I think someone needs to, or someone needs to die 
right? I, I would prefer, um, I don't want it to be, but I would prefer that be someone of note, right? We killed off Bob last season and he was he just introduced and then we lost him. And to lose Billy now, who's also a secondary character, um, we need to lose a main character. And I, I, don't, I don't want to, but the, the threat needs to feel real and the, the victory needs to feel earned. And uh, so there needs to be some repercussions. So I, I think we need to lose somebody. I think it's going to be Billy. I hope it's not. But I think that's the direction that we're going to be going in. All right, guys. So episode seven. Let's check it. I can't hear you. It'd be so funny if the Terminator is actually in the code. Making direct eye contact with him. We spared no expense. Well, I'm sure you spared some expense. Uh-oh. I can't get out now. Why do you two enjoy... Uh, why are we stopping? Because I slipped Jimmy a five. What? Oh, Come okay. on. These are the best seats in the house. I thought it was the man's fair. That is the worst seat in the house right now. It's the literally the moving. worst seat. Why are you looking at the trees, baby? The fireworks. Look at the fireworks. Last year, El closed the gate on him. I have a feeling that really pissed him off, like no royally. And the Mind Flayer now knows that she's the only thing that can stop him. But if she's out of the way... Game over. He also said he was gonna kill all of you. Yes, she should have known that already. I don't I weird why you guys are even still there. But is he gonna stop at this room? See how it ever can stop that. Oh. Probably should have taken the, oh that God, cart so with you. At least it could have Steve, can you taste the kept air? moving. Are they seriously trying to break it? Get away you guys need to leave. He knows where you are here. I, I, I don't know. I don't think he'd be able to censor everywhere she goes. Just need to run though. I 
Yeah, they're, they're back inside the mall. Right, but it's not open though. They have some cover. What's he saying? He says, showing me the location of the key to turn off the machine. Sorry, keys. Two, two man rule. Two man rule? Yeah, two men, two keys, like a nuclear launch. Wait, that's right. We're on our way to rescue our children from the big bad Fourth of July celebration. You know if you can't handle this, then just turn around and drop me off first. What are you gonna do? You gonna what walk are you guys back arguing? to August? I will do it. Well, so please, for my sake, either quit your bickering or pull over, tear off those clothes, <laughs> and get it over with already. I'm with him. <sighs> okay, breaking and entering. They know it doesn't like heat, so I mean that's that's their best okay, good luck right now. That's an understatement. Actually, it doesn't look it like help. a bowl. Nah, it's way better. There Weapons. is a reason this warning label says 18 or older. This sucker is filled with 150 grains of black powder, aka gunpowder. Yep. Strap two of these together, and if you want to kill that thing with fireworks, hey. do you have a better idea? Uh, yeah, 11. Have you seen her? Against that thing? She's gonna need some backup. What is it with Max and thinking that 11 can just handle every single thing herself? She could barely fend him off just now. Just pick up. It's Dustin. Dustin? Mike? Dustin! Finally! Mike! Oh my god, Mike, listen. I know I'm in MIA and I'm sorry. It's not because I'm mad. Dustin, you're cutting out. Mike? Dustin, is it Mike? Mike? Didn't what even is hear a thing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, here you go. <laughs> He's gonna spot him. One more. One call more. the Terminator. Here we go. Not good. <laughs> You're positive he then said game not him. great? Yeah, like this movie I'm watching is great. It sounded like game. To explain how the mind flare is still alive. Yeah, we just have to shut it again. And the monster died. Oh, don't tell me how one of these rats or something is playing. piece of itself to her do you remember what i said about clicks class about me being jealous and like obsessed yeah it isn't because i had a crush on you it's because <laughs> tammy thompson i wanted her to look at me but she couldn't pull her eyes away from you and your Oh, stupid okay. hair. Did not see that but coming. I didn't understand because you would get so she she's gay, is it? Or oh, by she said she had a crush on him, so and you asked okay, so she liked Tim. Thompson's a girl. Yeah, obviously, Steve. Yeah. Oh, well, that sucks. She does not sound like that. Sounds exactly. That's she a great impersonation sound like of her. That. You sound like a muppet. She sounds like a muppet. She sounds like a muppet giving birth. Sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 Sounds about right. Fifteen tickets, please. Come on. Guys, sorry for the inconvenience. I was a demon. Abort. Uh oh. Abort. Abort. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Abduct them in front of everyone, though? Shit. Okay. Come on, Alexi.
looks so happy. Oh, damn it. Run. It's went off. Run. Okay, let's run off. God damn it. Oh, my God. God damn it. Easy. Uh, 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 Jim! Jim! They got Alexi, Jim! Jim! Alexi! They got Alexi, Jim! We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, this is a win for Hopper, right? This is a win. Alexi? Still coming here. Yeah, I can show. Damn it. Yeah, I think Joyce and Hopper are gonna get there in time. Finally, they're, uni they're united. They're united again. Boy, do we have a story to tell you guys. <laughs> you flung that thing like a hot wheel. <laughs> Lucas, what are you doing here? Ask them. It's their fault. True, yeah, totally. <laughs> We're pretty damn close. Okay, Russians, as in they're working for the Russian government. What is it they're not comprehending? Yeah. So this has nothing to do with the game. Something's wrong. Everything to do with the game. I think when it attacked her, um, her leg, piece of the monster probably got inside of her. What's wrong? What's wrong? My leg. My leg. Her leg. Her leg. Okay. Get out. There we have it, episode 7. Fantastic episode, brilliant episode from beginning to end. Um, it still doesn't top um, episode 5 for me. Um, it still doesn't top episode 5 for me. Um, that, that was just, that still remains, that still remains my favorite episode so far. 
Um, but this was definitely a close, um, a close, um, close one to to that episode, a close second. Um, and uh, it's 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 just great to finally have our characters, our ragtag team of misfits, finally back together again. Um, it, it, they've not been together since the very first episode. They've split up and split up and split up, and it's just good to see to see them back together again. And they ha they do have a lot of information that they do need to share. Um, everyone has basically been um, approaching things from two different from dif different perspectives, right? Um, Dustin approaching the Russians and L dealing directly with the Mind Flayer himself. I. Things are finally coming together now, so I mean we understand where the scientists come in, and we do understand where the mind flare comes in. But there's still there's still um, some questions remaining um, surrounding the, the the Russians outside of the laboratory or the the military, right? And I say this because while I understand that the mind flare is attempting to open the gate. The people that our characters are coming um, in contact with, the, the Terminator and, and his goons that we, we've now seen at the, the carnival. Um, and even the guys that were interrogating um, Steve and, and Robin, they don't, they don't behave as though they're, they're hosts, right? So are they just um, following orders um, by someone who's, at the, who's above them who is actually a host? If not, why are they trying to open the gate in the first place. Um, I mean, some of you have said perhaps it's, the, it's for the same reason that, um, that the Americans did before, in that, um, you know, to, to kind of win the war or get some upper hand, right? Um, and, and maybe that's it. But um, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I figured initially that perhaps, I mean, the, the mind fair must be pulling strings somewhere in the background to get that, um, to, to kind of push that forward, because I believe in the first the first episode, um, or the second episode, we we saw a glimpse of um, some of the the um, high ranking officials visiting the lab, and one of them, he had super strength. There was no doubt about that, um, and basically told the scientists that they need to get the gate open. So there are members who are actually under control. But we don't see them. We don't see them often, and the ones who we are seeing are actually just ordinary soldiers. So, I, I guess they're, they're just following orders, uh, rank and file, and they're told to do this, so they just do it, um, and and just do it without question. Um, the, the biggest loss for me, of course, um, um, this episode is um, is Alexi, and I, I spoke about. I mean, at the, the very start of the episode, I spoke about actually um, losing someone because the threat needs to feel real and. Um, we lost Alexi, and I suspected that we would lose someone. I, I, I still think we're going to lose Billy. If not this episode, then perhaps the next. Um, but we lost Alexi now, and what still Alexi is still a, a secondary character. Um, I think we need to lose a main character. If we're going to be going on to season four, which I, I believe it was said that there is going to be a season four at least, um, we, are, we definitely there needs to be some repercussions to the things that are to everything that's happening. So we'll see. Um, still sad that we lost Alexei though. Um, we we've only known him for about three episodes, and but uh, it's still, it was still a welcome addition. It one of the things Stranger Things does extremely well. Um, each season normally. Um, well, um, in most TV shows, um, once you're introduced to a character, it takes a while for you to, um, for, you know, for, for, I don't know, for you to care about the character and for them to flesh the character out enough for you to care about him, um, him or her, right? And that usually takes place over um, several episodes or even um, several seasons, right? Um, but here they've they've done a fantastic job in introducing this character. He's only been around for about three episodes and. Um, I, I've, 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 he's one of my favorite characters this season, right? And the very same thing happened with um, in in season two with Bob, right? So um, they introduced these wonderful characters and sadly killed them off. I think season one it would have been um, um, uh, what was Nancy's best friend? Nancy's best friend who, who lost. I don't know if she was anyone's favorite. Um, Barb, yeah. Uh, but it was this Justice for Barb petition going around after season one ended to bring the character back. So, hey, 
Um, who knows? Uh, but they do have a um, they 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 do um, have well written characters so so much so that they've developed them in, um, to such an extent where you actually do care when the characters actually die and you miss them when they're gone, right? So that's something that um, I, I'm I'm glad to see that they continue to do. I, I hate that they killed Alexei off, but um, but I imagine some someone had to go, right? Uh, oh. goodbye Smirnoff. Uh, that aside, um, I mean, Dustin has Dustin, Steve, and and Robin have finally left. You know, um, escaped the Russian facility, the, the lab, made their way up top and 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 into into the mall. They're almost free. Um, and we had a, a nice moment there between uh, between Robin and uh, and Steve, who has finally he said it. I mean, he suspected for some time that, and I felt like he was maybe still you know hung up on on Nancy, but. He said he's he's past it now, and he seems to like Robin. Which and I found it, I, I like the scene, um, but I found it odd that she would she would say no that that she's actually gay. But prior to that, she went through the trouble of telling him, you know, going back, going down memory lane, to tell him that um, when they were in the same class together, she. Um, she had a crush on him, right? Um, why? I mean, why? Right? Uh, if, she, if she's gay, fine, but I mean, why bother telling that you have a crush on him only to tell him when he comes out and says he likes you that, oh, I'm sorry, I'm gay? Why bother telling him that you had a crush on him back then to kind of, um, you know, um, suggest that you wanted him to make a move? It, it, it was weird. But um, that does happen sometimes. Um, but other case, I mean, I, 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 she had a crush on him, and she also liked Tammy. I imagine that means she's bisexual. So, and Tammy's no longer in the picture. So there's still hope for Steve. So, and hopefully, um, Steve deserves to be happy. You know, he got the, the shit beat out of him. He needs there, there needs to be some reward for that. Um, so I guess we'll see. Um, Robin seems like a nice, um, a nice person. I, lo I love the character. So, and Steve has become one of my favorites as well. So hopefully things work out and and um, they get together. It, I mean, the season is it, it, the theme for the season. As I've said before, seems to be everyone is in love. So I I suspect that's what what will happen by the end, perhaps or maybe not. If you, you know, weirdly enough, I would prefer if they just remain friends. Um, I don't think every single person in the series needs to be paired off as though it's it's checking a box and, and everyone needs to be in a relationship. Um, and the same goes for, for even Will too, um, although Mike was making fun of him for it. Mike. Um, but I mean, not everyone in the series needs to be, needs to be hitched. It doesn't need to happen. Um, so either way, whether they do or don't, I'm actually fine with it. Um, we finally got a look at the Mind Flayer, his final form, you know, his boss battle form. And I don't know if he's hiding now, Maybe perhaps Eleven injured him to some extent where he needs to go and recover. Um, I don't see how that would be too hard. I mean, there's a lot of people at the carnival, he could probably just kidnap a few of them and just add to him, add to himself. Although, uh, perhaps it's not that easy because they did say that he, all this time what he's been doing is um, building something. So it just may be that in order for him to um, keep adding to his main body, he needs, um, he needs to combine those chemicals that they've been eating with human tissue in order to make you know, components for his body. Right? So um, it may be that he can't just heal himself just like that. And he does actually take, take damage even though it's just a ball of flesh. Um, but that scene with um, with Eleven and the Tentacles, that was just fantastic. I absolutely love that. Straight out of a horror movie. And um, I'm, I'm glad to see that the, the series is playing up on the horror elements. Um, whereas, I, I mean, last season was great, but um, not as not this good. Not this good. And the budget seems is obviously... Yeah, you can see it. You can see it here. And, and I love that, right? Um, so Eleven got injured, um, fi fighting, um, trying to fend the mind flare off, and 
I do wonder why it only has two tentacles though. I was I was expecting several of them to actually burst through different sides of the houses. Um, she did her best, but as I I mean I figured based on events last time, she barely held her own. Uh, I mean she barely held her own, and I don't see how she's gonna be able to stop him all on her own here, and. It pisses me off every time Max Max keeps suggesting that she does it because have you not been paying attention, right? You've seen the, the length that she's been going through and pushing herself and pushing herself, but she keeps insisting that Eleven can handle it, Lucas. We don't need we don't need the fireworks to, to, to injure it. Eleven will do it, we'll take care of it. Why does she keep pushing Eleven to do that when Eleven doesn't know the limits of her own abilities? Right? So and as i've said before i do think that's something that needs to happen um they have found a way around it by making it that making it so that the mind flare actually takes 11 out of the equation rather than her succumbing to some limitation of her abilities i would have preferred the the latter than the former um I, I don't think Eleven's abilities should be limitless, so I would prefer that they go that route where maybe she's mentally exhausted or something, rather than having the mind flare being the one that actually um, weakens her. But that works as well, um, and it was a clever move on, a move on its part, which means, um, I mean, it doesn't need to sneak around and kidnap people anymore, it can just force parts of itself inside persons to, to, to make them into hosts. All right, and it doesn't have to go through the mouth. They just need an open wound, and it just it just injured her leg, and and the piece that it left behind is starting to crawl up. And I imagine um, it needs to get to her brain to take over. It's a long journey up, um, but for the moment, she seems to be out of. She's gonna be out of commission. All right, um, whatever, however little the influence might be however little influence it might have over her based on what we saw with will last time i don't think i don't think she's going to be a lot a whole lot reliable here because you won't know whether to trust what she says or can do and in this instance what she can do is terrifying right so you don't want to have to go up against her uh still don't know how they're going to defeat the mind player but um you just might be lucas's plan right they need they need firepower and whatever military hopper calls, I imagine won't come in until the come in until the very last because they're nowhere to be seen. I don't know where they are, but I don't see them. So I think this is gonna come down to Lucas's plan. Um, lots and lots of fireworks, the gunpowder, blow it to bits. All right. So I like Lucas's plan. I think Lucas's plan will work. Um, for the moment, they they still need to get back in touch with their mom because the mind flare himself this piece that's here is not the only threat they do still have to worry about the gate actually being open and um alexi is not dead so yeah i don't know how, the, how they're gonna pull that off but they still have the terminator um the terminator coming right behind them and so proud of hopper this time around he actually he, he took the terminator out this time not going head first but actually outsmarting him Right, because he knows the Hall of Mirrors and Terminator doesn't. So he got the drop on him, um, put him down. Unfortunately, he's wearing a vest that's cheating, but they'll get a they'll get another go at it, I believe. And Hopper will come out on top. He'll know to aim, you know, for the head this time or something. Um, I could have sworn he perhaps shot him in in the, in the lower part of his body and maybe he didn't get to his leg or something. But it's unfortunate. I, but I don't mind seeing another round between them. Hopefully this time it will not, it will not be with guns because he got a drop on Hopper the first time and, to, and he out you know outmatched him in terms of physical strength and abilities. Um, so hopefully Hopper gets another go fist to fist and 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 takes him down this time around for real. Right. So ah, uh, mind flare, mind flare, mind flare. Alright guys, uh, be sure to post down below, let me know what your thoughts are on this episode, uh, hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys for the finale.